Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Target haul slash a Barnes & Noble's haul, but mostly a Target stationery haul. So let's just get right into it. So there's a lot of cute stuff at Target because the school supplies is out. So I'm just gonna go through what I got. First thing that I just couldn't resist was this pencil case. This is the packaging. It's so cute. I've seen these like little mini backpack pencil cases before, but I couldn't resist the strawberry print. I got a lot of other things in this strawberry print. I kind of basically got the whole set of the strawberry print because it's that cute. Once I go through everything, we'll set up this, we'll set up this pencil pouch. These are also from UB. The backpack was from UB. And they're little mini scissors. I actually got two, but I gave one to my sister. But they are so cute. I love mini scissors. They're just a great journaling essential. And they're green and glittery. Like, I couldn't ask for more. They're so, so cute. Then on to pens. I got three pen sets. So first, this one is by Zebra. I've never seen these before, and I'm very excited about them. They are glitter highlighters, I believe, and they come in five colors. These are the Kira Rich pens if you want to look for them. So I'm just going to put these in here. Then these two are both by the U brand, and I couldn't resist them because these are sustainable pens. This is like their U Eco line, I guess, but sustainable writing tools, that's what it says at the bottom. I also found these in pencils, but I don't use pencils enough, so I did not get them. But I got them in the Pastel Speckle Gel Ink Pens, and I got the Bold and Bright Hybrid Ink Pens. Here we have the Pastel Speckle Pens. I believe there's just four. All test out all the pens later then we have the vivid and bright set i believe they're called the packaging is so nice then we have some more stationery like i said earlier i love this strawberry print so i got it in the spiral journal and the folder because i couldn't resist and if i can't find a use just for my stationery or whatever i will just use it for school but yeah this is just a regular spiral notebook, and this is just a plain folder. And they're both from UB. Then I got this UB binder. I am in love with the color. It's just a soft yellow color, and I'm using it to organize stationery stuff. I haven't fully organized it yet, but I have some papers on the side. I ordered some dividers and stuff on Amazon so I can store stickers and these papers so they're not in these pockets. That goes to the other thing, which is this beautiful folder. It's like kind of it's like felt here. It's a little velvety here. The other little daisies. Then in the inside, I have put magazine scraps for me to use. Then I have some stuff that I got from Pen Pals back here. But again, those things would be moved to pockets. So then the last thing I got were books. These are from Barnes and Nobles, not from Target. So this book I've heard a lot about lately, and so I decided to pick it up. I just see many booktubers with this book. I don't really watch a ton of booktube. I watch like two people, Haley in Bookland and Miona. Miona Reads, I think. I'll put both of their names on the screen. I wanted to come on here real quickly and correct myself. Um, I believe her name is actually pronounced Miona, so... Then I got Call Me By Your Name, which I don't even need to explain this one. I have not read it yet. And then this one is called Here For It, and it is a book of essays. It's really just about this dude's life, especially growing up in America, being black and queer, and also like his struggles with the church and stuff, which I feel like will be interesting. Also, I heard someone review this after I already purchased it, but they said it was funny, so I'm excited. So yes, this is everything that I got. Now it's time to test out the pens. Okay, let's start with the glitter highlighter set. I think it can kind of push them down to get more ink out. They kind of bled through. Also, these pages are pretty thin, so it kind of makes sense. They almost look like water, like a bright highlighter watercolor on the page. There's something watery about them. 
They look nice. Time for the pastel speckled ones. Mm. Little nub. Oh, so are these not actually gonna be pastel? These might all just be, ugh. These are all just regular pens. I honestly thought that they were going to be a pastel, but that is fine. They're, they feel really nice, not gonna lie. So these are the sustainable gel pens. I don't even know what they mean by sustainable. I don't know if it's how they're made or if they're using recycled materials, but I do appreciate that aspect of it. So I feel like I need to start using these pens. Now time for our last pen set, which is also by U Brands, and it is the Vivid and Bright set, I believe, and I think they're also gel pens. Ah, it's bold and bright, and they're hybrid ink pens. These ones better be colored. That is all I have to say. I mean, obviously this one's gonna be black. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, come on. Now I'm really scared that these are not going to be colored. Okay, they're colored. Love this green. Hopefully it shows up like this. I was expecting them to be a little inkier, but they kind of just feel like a regular like ballpoint pen. There's still some of the seal on it. Hmm, that, looks, that works nicely. I don't understand why they're called hybrid ink pens. Like it literally feels like a normal gel pen. So here we have our pen swatches. I really thought that these were going to be colored, but they're not. But they are still really cute and still very useful. These I expected to be inkier and less of just a regular bullet point pen. But I do appreciate that these are considered sustainable. I thought that those two sets would be the other way around. I thought the hybrid ink pens would be the inkier ones and that the pastel speckled would be more of that normal ballpoint type pen or just normal gel pen. With the hybrid ink set, there's nothing really special about those pens. They kind of just felt like normal pens. These are definitely highlighters. I don't really see the glitter. I don't really see much glitter in my little swatch that I did. So I'll play around with all of these pens more. But now let's set up this little pencil case. So we're putting in all of our new pens. In this pocket, I think I'll be able to fit some washi tape. I'm thinking these two will be fun. I normally keep my two black and white ones of these grids, but I want to switch it off. It fits two washi tapes in the front pocket pretty perfectly. Then I need my glue. This is just the Pit Glue Stick by Tombow. And then my glue tape. And then also my Muji pencil and my Muji pen. My Muji pen is my favorite pen ever. I always write with it. So that's pretty much it. That's what I have put in this new pencil case and it looks so cute and I can strap it onto the front of a journal if I want to. Ugh. Look at them together. Okay, look at this pencil case. I can strap it around my journal it keeps my journal together and then I have my stuff with me. This is so convenient. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.